the audacity of impunity. Dear viewers, just like La Sisi, I am so angry right now, and my anger can cook 10 bags of rice. I got up in the wee hours of Thursday morning, not because I was rushing off to catch up with a flight or rushing to an emergency. I was actually rushing to get a good spot on the queue for fuel. This has been the tradition since November 2022. Are we supposed to carry on with our lives and pretend that this is not insanity? I think we've pretended well enough. It's even more ridiculous that this is happening just close to the general elections. People were elected to solve these basic issues and they took an oath to do so. Such audacity is delivered effortlessly because we have been stripped of our fundamental human rights, including the right to freedom of speech and expression. The basic things every Nigerian should have access to have now become a luxury to only a few people. It's important to reiterate that no Nigerian is more Nigerian than any Nigerian. I'll say that again. No Nigerian is more Nigerian than any Nigerian. I don't want to get started on the issue of the new Naira note circulation. I mean, how can someone sit somewhere who is supposed to be intelligent, issue an order, but does not provide the necessary support structures, the necessary systems and processes to ensure that the order is carried out effortlessly? Automated teller machines are still dispensing the old Naira notes. As at Thursday, the 26th of January, 2023, what genre of comedy is that? Why do we enjoy making everything hard and uneasy in Nigeria? Can we at least have things flow seamlessly? I mean, it's not too much to ask, right? It's basic one plus one. Let's not even play the talk is cheap card. Here, because, I mean, if you think about it, these elected officials don't understand the basic economics. What are they doing in office if they don't understand these fundamental economics? How do you go to Harvard or Oxford or some Ivy League school only to end up with some daft and preposterous policies? That doesn't even make sense to a five-year-old. There's just so many other loopholes, you know, in the system that I'm pretty much angry about, and it's taking its toll on everyone, every single person in Nigeria. This very audacity of impunity has reached its climax, and we must collectively begin to hold people accountable, not just in their words, but now in their action. Hmm. Oh, that was quite Victor is actually boiling. I'm I, so I, angry I think right now. All of us should, should really be worried with the situations that are, has been highlighted by Victor. Uh, two major things I brought out of that. Number one is the fuel issue. Number two is the new neural notes circulation and the mopping up of the old notes. Uh, Slimon, what is the situation like in Abuja as it regards, uh, concerns, the fuel scarcity and the circulation of the new neural notes? Um, actually, in Abuja, the issue of uh, fuel scarcity is the same, just like any other part of the country. You have to Follow endless queue, and it's even unfortunate. After spending hours in finish station, you may end up not even getting well. Um, it is unfortunate, and I can tell you that uh, commuters have been subjected to a lot of um, pain, and they even have to pay more for places where they play, pay lesser amount. They pay more now, and people even get late to office. And as at, um, for the Nera note, uh, I can tell, uh, I think Abuja is fair compared to other places. As at yesterday, people even have to come from neighboring uh, states to come into Abuja to deposit their old uh, Nera note. Most of the ATM have visited in Abuja so far. They dispense the new Nera note. But as you said, it's not everywhere. People are still trying to see how they can get their old notes deposited so it is unfortunate this should not be happening 
at this time. So the government in power or whoever is responsible for this should at least get it done. Nigerians are going through a lot already. Adding this to already uh, the already sad situation is not a good thing to do at this time. Elijah. Well, the thing is, I'm going to come from here. Your issue concerning the, the redesign of the Naira notes. The CBN governor has actually said that they will start, I had news that they will start um, fining banks for not starting the new Naira notes in the ATMs. You know, the problem about Nigeria is that the laws are there, but implementation. Some of these banks will complain because sometimes I have the opportunity of interacting with some of these bank officials who tell you, oh, we don't have enough of the notes. So we start some few new Naira notes in the bank. And when you finish, we have to put old Naira notes there so that it can go. But sometimes I, I feel that the major problem is that some of these people are holding these notes. You know, there are some customers that will go to the bank and maybe find out to get this in back door and hold it. So that's part of the problem why it's not circulating fast. But I'm very sure that if the CBN governor can stamp his feet down and say no, I insist. If, because we're close to the deadline, they should stop starting ATM with old notes. If you don't have enough uh, Naira notes in your ATM and your, your, to put in the ATM, then let it be like that. We should go and be forced to do transfer. Yes. Yes, it's about time. Victor. And with an yeah, issue of where, I want yeah. to say something about the issue of where. For scarcity is a problem. The president, who is the minister of petroleum, should call his cabinet members, relevant stakeholders, and solve this problem. And please, they should stop playing politics with it. Mm -hmm. This is things affecting the citizens. No politics. The, the NMPC has maintained continuously that they have enough supplies. Why we have the long queues across the country is what we need to interrogate. Uh, I think you're, you you have simmered down a bit, so maybe yeah. your contribution will be more lively now. No, but I mean, but um, Shagun, the thing is, these things are basic things. It's not about talk is cheap. We all went to school now, right? It, I understand the heat that comes with running an office, right? Or making policies or things like that. But let's not make it look to, you know, when we just overly worship something, it's, it's just putting the right... I was in Kenya and I saw how things were working. Right. And, you know, a friend was telling me that um, there had never been any reason for me to go and, you know, say I'm queuing to, to, to purchase fuel. And he's been there for five years. Right. So the thing is, most of these things are not rocket science. They are doable. But some people, you know, not putting the interest of the people they are serving. And when you look at it, the office of the citizen remains the most powerful office. You're the reason, we're the reason that you're in office. And if you don't think that way, then you're not going to serve. So these things are not rocket science. For scarcity, all of these things, just a, sing, a, a simple putting together of a well-coordinated system, you know, um, structures and processes, we're going to, you know. So uh, it gets me angry talking about something that basic one plus one can solve. Very simple. Very simple. But for me, too, I think it's all about leadership. Yeah. But when you listen to the CBN governor as it concerns the new Naira notes, he said 100 days have been given as notice. But you, if you can't back to December 15th till now, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe, maybe the one plus one that you're talking about, we need to now sit down and see. Fifth, December 15th is when the new Naira notes was released into the public. Yeah, there was commission. Yeah, it was released. But so it, when really it took time to circulate. 100, 100 days? I mean, the cash swap project started this week, and some of the banks didn't get the new notes until yesterday. Some have not even gotten as of this morning. I, I have a staff who walked into one of the banks today and got old notes. So if you are saying the, the deadline is just around the corner, Let's excuse and then you are still dispensing old notes, and you want people to comply, uh, is it that everybody should? I mean, leave all economic activity till the deadline gets here so that we can just push the old I think Nigeria should not wait for the deadline. I told you before that major problem is number one, enforcing the laws. He said that he will find banks that don't put new notes in the ATM, they don't start the ATM with new notes. At the other hand, I'm not seeing him finding banks. At the other hand, some people are holding these notes. They will collect it from the back door from this bank, say to who they want to say. So, so, so that's the fact. The, the so, point is, even before this new the redesign Nera notes, to get means you need to go to parties. What you cannot get 
in the banking hall. You get, you get <laughs> the bank. So, so, so it's still the same the thing. Same process. It's the same process. Nothing has changed. Apart from the fact that they want to mop up the, the excess cash that we have in circulation. But of course, they, they want to be strategic about something. I have to say that here. As much as, it doesn't matter if you are bringing in your 500,000 Naira old notes into the banking or oh, you are not going home with the same amount. No, you can't. You, you'll be going, you shouldn't even go the, with anything. The, the, go the, cash, the cash swap is such that yes, you, if you bring 50,000, you get 10,000 Naira in those to take home. So I think that will also address the issue of the excess cash that we have in circulation. I think the way out is simple. Nigerians should just go clash as much as possible because I still believe that if you mop up the mop up the uh, country of the, uh, the old notes of the country, good new notes should not be on everybody's hands unless you have a re reason for a cash transaction. Our this is I came here today. I use I use my bank app to pay for my transport. Yes, I paid for my transport my bank app. I think uh, we'll see how that will, how, how that will play out if you want to buy vegetable. Uh, no, that's why I said as much as possible. There are some instances where you need it, but okay. let it be that the people that have the cash or have that want to use the cash should be for those kind of instances. The, not the, the major, major issue here is that be carrying that our economy is still very around. much cash dominant. That's why we, are, yes. we need to grow to cashless the, policy. Uh, so, so there has to be enough efforts in account opening, especially for people in the rural areas. And then you have to also uh, build the confidence of people in the system. Yeah, educating them. Educating on them. Uh, when you educate, you also need to ensure yeah. that they are confident to bring their cash. Education the, and enforcement. Enforcement is yeah. very important too. All right. The end always seems to come too soon on The Advocate. However, The Advocate continues on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa with the hashtag The Advocate NG. And on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, also hashtag The Advocate NG. To catch up with our previous broadcast, please go to plustvafrica.com forward slash The Advocate NG. Do not forget, very important, to subscribe to our YouTube channels, Plus TV Africa. See you next week, same time on this same station. Let us keep advocating for a better society. Bye for now.